Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton and today we're doing the second in a series of placemats. So for the first placemat we did alternating square knots. For this one what I've done is a pattern of single square knot, double square knot, single, double, single, double the whole way through. What you'll need to complete this project is your string or your rope. I'm using three millimeter single strand cotton string. This is from rightrope.com. And I'm gonna be cutting 32 strings to four and a half yards each. You're also going to need somewhere to work. So you can either use a dowel rod that you have hanging from some hooks or if you don't have a dowel rod, you can simply tape your strings to a flat surface using painter's tape or masking tape. When we're all done and ready to cut the fringe, I'm gonna be using a self-healing mat, painter's tape, and a rotary cutter. If you don't have a self-healing mat, you could just use cardboard. And if you don't have a rotary cutter, you can just use some very sharp scissors. I have a pair of sharp fabric scissors that I use to cut my rope. Those are all the supplies that we need, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is take all 32 strings and attach them to our dowel rod using what's called a lark's head knot. So what you wanna do with each string is find the two loose ends, line those up, and then you're going to find the midpoint of your string, which will have a loop. You're gonna take that loop and pass it over your dowel rod and pull it down in the back. And then you're gonna take the two loose ends and you're going to put them through the loop, pull them all the way through, and then gently pull down and tighten those up to your dowel rod. I'll show you that one more time. Find the loose ends of your string, line them up, then find the midpoint of your string which will be folded over into a loop. Pass the loop over your dowel rod and pull down in the back. Then pull your loose ends through the loop and tighten up to the dowel rod. And then finish connecting all of your strings to the dowel rod with that Lark's head knot. And you wanna scoot them so that they are next to each other. Once all your strings are attached, we're going to make a complete row of single square knots. So I'll show you how to make a square knot twice, and then you're gonna do that all the way across. What you wanna do is take your first four working strings. You wanna take the rightmost string, cross it over the center two strings, then take that left string on top of the one you just crossed, pass it behind the center two and up through the loop on the side, then pull all the way through and then you pull on the two end pieces until they're up against those Lark's heads knots. That's the first half of your square knot. To complete it, you wanna do the same thing, but you wanna start in the opposite direction. So now this string to the left is going to cross in front of the center two. The string on the right will come on top, then pass behind and come up through the loop on the side. Then take those two outer strings and tighten them to meet the other half. Now you have a complete square knot and we're gonna move over to the next four working strings and do the same thing. So take your rightmost string, cross it in front of the center two, then take the left string in front of that one, pass it behind the center two, pull it through the loop, and then pull the two outer strings tight. Now reverse, left over center, right in front, behind the center two, through the loop, and pull tight. And then you wanna continue across until you have one complete row of square knots. Now, instead of doing a simple alternating square knot pattern like we did in my previous placemat video, this time we are going to alternate, which means we'll leave these first two strings out. But instead of doing a single square knot here, we're gonna do two square knots in a row and then we'll continue all the way across. So once again, you wanna form your square knot. Now, 
And then right underneath this one, you're going to make a second square knot. Then you're gonna pick up the next four working strings. And again, you're gonna form two complete square knots. And you're going to continue this way all the way across. Once you've completed your row of double square knots, you're going to drop these first two working strings back down. And then you're going to start with those first four strings again, just like you did in the first row. And we're again going to make a complete row of single square knots going across. Now with this first square knot and the last one on the end, you want to keep your square knots parallel to each other. So you're not gonna pull so hard on this string that your square knot ends up on a diagonal. You wanna hold that straight and you'll have this little gap over here which ends up being part of the design. With the rest of the square knots between those two on the ends, that won't be an issue. You can pull them tight right up underneath the two above. Now you can start to see the pattern that this is going to give us. It's a little bit more interesting than just the alternating square knots with these little sort of diamond shaped spaces in here. And all you have to do now is continue the pattern. So you're gonna make a row of double square knots next, then another row of single, double, single. And you're gonna continue that until you have the desired length for your placemat. You want to make sure that you end on a full row of single square knots. So now I have completed all of my rows and I was actually planning on making this one a little bit longer. I wanted the knotted portion to be about the same size as the standard placemat, except I've run out of rope. I have just enough left for the fringe. So it's just going to be a little bit shorter than my placemat. And if I measure from the top knots to the bottom row of knots, it's about 16 and a half, almost 17 inches long. And across, I'm at about 11 and a half or 12. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this off of the rod, and then I'm gonna take it over to a self-healing mat and use a rotary cutter to trim the fringe. So just take your dowel rod, off of your hooks and then depending on how tightly you knotted these at the top you can just slide it off of your dowel it might take a little bit of wiggling and finesse and then set that dowel rod away till next time. And you can just unfold all these ends because we're going to go and trim that now. Once you get your placemat onto a flat surface, you just wanna make sure that you've pulled all of these ends straight. You don't have to worry about the little loops at the end because we're gonna trim those off. I'm using a self-healing cutting mat, but if you don't have one, you could cut this on top of a piece of cardboard or something like that. I like to use painter's tape to hold this in place, and I can use my cutting mat to measure out about two inches of fringe, and then I'll just tape this off at that mark. <laughs> And that'll hold everything in place while I go along with my rotary cutter and trim off the ends. And again, if you don't have a rotary cutter, you can just use regular scissors. I'd recommend some very sharp scissors. If you have fabric scissors, those work really well. So 
like I missed a couple pieces. I'm going to go back over that and then push those aside. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So let's flip this over. Now on this side, you will have some longer pieces if you want to save those for other projects, small things like earrings. It's good to keep a bin of your scraps for down the future. And again, I'm just going to go over this with the cutter or scissors. And now our placemat is finished and ready to use. use. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will give this project a try. The knotting does take a couple hours, so get comfortable with a drink and your favorite podcast or some music. And we'll be doing another pattern in this series as soon as I can. Please like and subscribe to my channel and also sign up for notifications so that you are sent an email when my latest videos come out. Thank you and have a great day.